Febrile infection-related epilepsy syndrome, or FIRES, is a rare catastrophic epileptic encephalopathy with a yet undefined etiology, characterized by acute manifestation of recurrent seizures or refractory status epilepticus with preceding febrile illness, but without evidence of infectious encephalitis. It is mostly irreversible, and it sequelae include drug-resistant epilepsy and significant neuropsychological impairment. It is sporadic and extremely rare. It is not associated with specific biomarkers, entailing diagnosis by exclusion. The underlying pathogenic mechanism of virus seems to be a double hit process, a synergistic effect between an immune response to a febrile illness or to an infection affecting the brain and an intrinsic predisposition towards an autosustaining epileptogenic process. In terms of diagnosis, Careful history taking, neurological examination, and basic laboratory testing are necessary to exclude the most common etiologies of status epilepticus. Differential diagnosis with G mutations associated with fever-induced epilepsy, such as SCN1A, PCDH19, or POLG1, should be taken into account. Cerebral spinal fluid testing is usually negative with moderate to no pleocytosis and absence of markers for viral infections and autoimmunity, as well as antineural antibodies. During the acute phase, standard EEG and continuous EEG monitoring are of paramount importance in guiding correct therapeutic interventions, assessing sedation levels, and recognizing non-convulsive status epilepticus. Initial brain, brain MRI scans are mostly negative or may show abnormalities predo predominantly in the temporal regions or additionally in the insula and the basal ganglia that may either be transient or irreversible. In terms of treatment, most interventions unfortunately appear scarcely beneficial. First-line treatment of status epilepticus initially consists of benzodiazepines. Second-line intervention usually entails the use of anesthetic agents, in particular infusion of midazolam and barbiturates. Given the significantly low response rates to standard medication, many alternative interventions have been tried, including high-dose IV steroids, second-line immunotherapy, ketogenic diet, therapeutic hypothermia, cannabidiol, and anakinra. Currently, no systematic studies on the treatment of the after aftermath of fires exist. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you for your attention.